In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness. There is no God but God, and God is the only one who has the right to be worshipped. I also bear witness that Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them, are the messengers of God, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So, greetings of peace, and thanks for tuning in. we got an excellent video for you all today. Uh, we're going to be focusing on how Imam Mehdi, the Mashiach, will... Uh, transform the world from injustice to justice, from poverty to abundance. So we're going to be focusing on more of the abundance part uh, And at this time. Um, the world is going through a lot of changes, uh, a lot of things are going on behind the scenes. And this grand verse is, that I have here that I will be reciting in more of a poetic way um, will help us understand um, the whys and hows of what's going on in this world, in this world right now. So we know from the hadiths. I got a hadith here. Uh, it's narrated by Imam Al Berker, and he says, "When the riser, that's Imam Mehdi, of the family of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, rises up, he will distribute the public treasury to the people evenly, and he will behave justly with them." So, uh, there's lots of hadiths that discuss that, you know, there's going to be, in the time of Imam Mehdi, there's going to be so much wealth with, within all the people that people will be looking to give charity, but there's, there's nobody to accept the charity that everybody will be so well taken care of. So, there's going to be some sort of uni universal basic income, which I feel is being uh, happening behind the scenes uh, here and now uh, with the countries. We know what's been going on with current events. Uh, you know, we know that governments are sending out stimulus, stimulus checks to the needy people, to the more poor people of the world, and this seems to be the beginning of the universal basic income. Um, so we've been uh, conditioned for so many years and decades and centuries. Uh, you know, we've seen uh, an oppression of the poor. We've seen the poor's wealth being stolen over and over again. Um, by the elites and the jinn of the world. Um, so uh, it's difficult for people to have, you know, a strong faith to see that this is going to, this is going to change. This is going to transform into uh, a place of abundance. So uh, a lot of people don't have that strong faith to really believe that this can happen. So these Quran verses that I'm going to, that I'm going to be saying is going to show you the, the whys and the how in Mehmedi who I believe is uh, leading the world from behind the scenes. He's alive here and now in the world. I've got tons of videos if you want to watch. Lots of proof of him being alive in the world. Most people believe that anyways, um, so I'm not going to really get into it that much. In this video, uh, there's not really much le left to prove there. Um, so, this video is basically going to help us understand the the whys and the hows of how this is all going to be transformed. So let's get into it. I call to witness those messengers of truth who are sent forth to spread goodness in continual series. Those that drive off forcefully falsehood and forces of evil as chaff is carried before the wind. And those that spread the truth far and wide and those that fully distinguish the right from the wrong, and those carrying the message of rising to eminence far and wide, and those presenting this source of eminence in an attempt to purify some from the abomination of sin and to warn others. Then as for the person who devotes all his resources and capacities in the cause of God, gives to others and guards against evil, and declares his faith in all that is best and right. We will then invariably provide for him every facility for doing good. But as for him who is stingy and cripples his capacities and is disdainfully indifferent to God and the hereafter, and belies all that is best, we will then, of course, make easy for him downhill path to a state of distress and his wealth shall not avail him when he dies and we shall provide you every facility and make things easy for you therefore keep on reminding the people surely reminding does good 
It is for us to provide guidance, Allah says, and he will provide him sustenance from where he least expects. And he who puts his trust in Allah, he is sufficient for him to fulfill his needs. Allah is sure to accomplish this his purpose. Allah has set a measure for everything. For he who seeks the harvest of the hereafter, we shall add to his harvest. But he who seeks the harvest of this world, we shall give him a portion of it, and he shall have no share whatsoever in the hereafter. And whatever calamity befalls you is of your own making. And yet he goes on forgiving a great many of your sins out of his mercy. Behold, you are those who are called upon to spend in the cause of Allah. Yet some of you are stingy. Remember that whoever is stingy is stingy only against his own self. Otherwise, Allah is self-sufficient, having no needs. And it is you who are the needy ones. And if you turn back from the truth, he will replace you with another people, and they will not behave like you. So there's lots to unpack there. Um, you know, you know, a, a, an amazing thing here in this verse, uh, chapter uh, 65, verse 3, and he will provide him sustenance from where he least expects. So who is expecting, you know, the government to give stimulus, stimulus checks to poor people? You know, this is completely unheard of uh, in, in modern times um, to give so much stimulus to uh, needy people. You know, obviously there's a welfare system and stuff like that, but, um, you know, it's not to this uh, extent. So uh, that's a very amazing thing to uh, take note of. And uh, another important thing uh, to take note of out of this is that uh, Allah provides two facilities. If you are going to do good deeds, or you're going to learn uh, wisdoms and truth and, and embody them and embody these higher lights and uh, deeper understandings and wisdoms um, God will in these higher laws and, and divine commandments of the Most High Allah is going to facilitate for you for doing good so he's going to he's going to trans God's going to transform the world you transform your inner self and your inner mind and your inner heart God will transform the whole world around you to facilitate you to do more good so by giving people uh, you know the ability to have stick to have uh, a basic universal income, they can focus their entire lives and resources and, and their human capacities to uh, embody all these higher truths and wisdoms and these divine laws and commandments and spread them far and wide for others uh, to benefit in the like. And also Allah says he does the exact opposite. He will then of course make it easy for him the downhill path to a state of distress. So if you wanna belie the truth, if you know if you don't want to help needy people um, God will make a downhill path for you so both ways Allah transforms the world and this is how Imam Mahdi the Mashiach will transform the world by applying divine laws and commandments of the Most High will embody these higher truths of wisdom these higher light energies uh, these higher godly energies within uh, his within his own soul and through that will transform uh, the entire world in, out of injustice to justice and out of poverty into abundance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you take Allah as your shield and may the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. Thank you so much. Peace.